Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. We have another What's Old video for you today. It is Wednesday. It's actually a pretty cold day. We're supposed to be getting uh, a big storm, but it's uh, it was pretty foggy this morning, but... We don't have the snow yet, so we'll see. Uh, anyway, we're gonna start picking what's old for us today. So I'm gonna turn it over to Kathy so we can get picking that stuff. Hey friends, I did wanna thank a few of you guys for buying us some coffees. Um, Kim bought us a coffee and said, y'all are so sweet to watch. I learned so much from every video. Choosing the packaging of each item is my biggest problem, yet you've helped so much in that area. May this year be your most profitable one yet. So awesome. Thank you so much, Kim. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's kind of, what is that word like? What we do over and over, like, some days I'm like, do we really need to show the packaging? Oh, but, yeah. like, I know that we have new viewers every day, and yeah. I know that the packaging was, like, my biggest challenge in yeah. the beginning. And so that's why we keep doing it, even though it seems, like, repetitive. Re repetitive yeah. 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 Um, so, yeah, I'm glad that was able to help you. Yeah. So. Kim, thank you so much for that support. Yeah. We do appreciate it. All right. And then Caitlin um, bought us five coffees, said, thank you so much for all you do for the community. I met Kathy at the bins when she was there with Amber and Denver. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, it was so fun to see her in person. You have taught me so much. And the latest is Ufos. I have found four pairs. I can't believe how quickly and how much they sell. Wow. Yeah, that's probably one of my <laughs> top 10, like, favorite things to sell. Even though they sell, you know, thirty to forty dollars plus ship, they, they sell so fast, fast. Yeah. and like so, I would even pay like probably twenty bucks for them just because I know I can double my money almost in a day. Yeah, a couple days. So, yeah, thank awesome. you so much, Caitlin. That was cool meeting yeah. you at the bins. <laughs> Caitlin, thank you so much for that support. <laughs> Glad you're selling those things like hotcakes. That's yeah. awesome. And then Tanya over at Volver Vintage bought us three coffees. Said, "Hey guys, we've collaborated a few times through Becky Parks." Mm -hmm. YouTube course, but I believe we haven't met virtually. I uh, just wanted to thank you for the spreadsheet. I'll be using it this year to keep better records while I work. On my 2022 goals of scaling my sales, I love the dashboard. It keeps me motivated to enter more. Awesome. awesome. Tanya, thank you so much. Yeah, we definitely know who you are. So. <laughs> We've seen you in the group. Yeah, we'll yep. put your little yeah. screenshot up here. Tanya has a cool YouTube channel as well if you want to check it out. Does a lot of vintage stuff. And yeah, and yeah we are, we're part of a, a little bit of a reseller YouTube group with Becky Park and, and yeah. some other YouTube channels. And that's where she's talking about, just a little private group. But Yeah, and if, I mean... I'm pretty sure if you're watching our channel, you've probably already watched Becky's channel, yeah. but if you haven't, <laughs> yeah. go check out Becky. Um, and if you have a YouTube channel and you want to kind of learn how to grow it, she does offer a... A course. Yeah. Um, yeah. Usually, I think every few months, I think she already has one ongoing right now. So, you know, yeah. you have to get in before it starts for the few months. And yeah. then, so right now it's full, but then she'll probably offer another one in a couple months. So when she does, we will put it out there yeah. for you guys to go check it out if you're interested in right. that kind of a thing. So. And you probably, if you've been around for a while, you've seen us do like collaborations yeah. with some other YouTube channels. We're doing that through Becky Parks right. group. So that's a great way if you're a YouTuber to get in on those collaborations yep, as well. Because so. we all have different viewers yeah. and we're all, sh you know, sharing the love. <laughs> so Tanya, thanks again for that yes, support. <laughs> all right, let's hop into pulling some sales. So AT, where we Right behind me. Yeah. <laughs> North Face. All right, some North Face hiking pants. Picked these up actually up in Denver, um, just at a normal thrift store up there for $9.99. Sold them for $30 plus shipping just now on eBay. Um, those, they've been listed a little bit. I had them listed high, but I recently added best offer and then got the best offer of 30. So I was happy to accept that. You need a poly mailer for that? Yeah, since today we don't have. You know, it's not a weekend. Yeah. So we'll show you how we ship. So yeah, Paul, anything like under a pound, unless it's like posh, because then we just use the free materials. Right. Um, under a pound is considered, you can ship it first class. So that's not really priority. These white priority boxes are for priority only. But if you're shipping first class, you're responsible for supplying your shipping package right it can be a box it just has to be your own brown box it can't be the priority box yeah. or your own poly mailer like we have here right and that's why we do this because it, it is yeah. confusing so um and i know we don't always go into like the nitty-gritty of that yeah. kind of stuff we just show what we're shipping it in we do want to do a better like like what's the process of deciding right kathy kind of mm -hmm. decides she's really good at knowing what she 
is going to ship it in even before she buys it in the thrift store. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. she's like, okay, this is going to sell on Posh. It's going to in their box, so it's good. If it's yeah. going to sell on eBay. If it's too eBay. big, I, like, really think hard about if I want to get it Yeah, or not, so. and that's, that, I think that's a very important step when you're sourcing to think about your shipping before you even buy it. Right. So Just that's the kind of stuff. Just something can possibly sell for hundreds of dollars doesn't mean it's right. a good pickup. Yeah. So. So yeah, that's just gonna go in a poly mailer. You know, those Sendo ones we got like as a free promo one. Yeah. You know, it was like floating around in the reseller community, but we're almost out of those. But yeah, most otherwise we get our shipping, our mailers from Shipping Hip, Amazon or Magical Mailers. Um, we do have a Shipping Hip code in our description if you want to yeah. get 15% off an order they ship for free, so. All right, um, AD. <laughs> And I'm just weird. Like, I want to use my Valentine's mailers, but those are men's pants. And I didn't want to put, like, heart, butterfly, <laughs> peace sign mailers on. I know it doesn't matter at all. It's just funny. That's just my stupid brain. It's not a stupid brain. <laughs> all right. Um, this is my sale of the day, guys. Not really. Um, this is the brand Cypress. I don't even know. Cypress Hill? No. Yeah, something. <laughs> I don't know. I got this at the bins up in Denver. And... You know, when you're at the bins, you're just like putting things in your cart. I knew this wasn't going to be a huge flip to begin with, but, you know, I thought I could get 10 bucks plus shipping out of it. Yeah. And I probably could if I held out, but last night when we were putting away inventory, as I was like getting toward the end, I'm like, man, there's like nowhere to put anything at the moment. So yeah. I accepted an offer on this that I normally wouldn't have, but I got it for 88 cents. Someone offered me five bucks on Posh. If you know Posh, they take two ninety five of any sale that's over under fifteen dollars. So, I make two dollars and five cents minus the eighty eight cents I bought it for. Yeah. Which leaves me with I wrote it down a dollar seventeen in profit. Woo um, Home run. Like this bag, little plastic that it's in is like three cents. Yeah. So we're gonna put a sticker. So, I'm making like a buck on this. So it definitely was not worth my time on this no. specific item. But I'm moving it along, not losing money. Right, and we're freeing up the space Getting in the, the inventory. Knowledge to not pick that up again. Right. It's oh. better in our eyes than after doing all this already, than just donating and writing it off. Yep. We're at least making a profit and we're moving on. That's it's out of our life. <laughs> so yep. and I'll just ship that in a free mailer, so at least this isn't costing me anything. So Yeah. All right. Box V. It's like it's obviously not the goal to make right. <laughs> that much on an item like that, but and I could have held on to it. I know I could have sold it for more, but yeah. I kind of was just over it at this point. Um, these are born shoes. I don't pick up all borns. I thought this was a cute style. It's like, it has like that wingtip Oxford kind of look, but mm -hmm. then it's like a Chelsea boot, but a heel. I don't know, just thought they were cute. Glad I picked them up. I, bu I bought them for $7.99 and someone bought them at my full list price on Posh, which was $45. So really nice sell there. And yeah, Poshmark, as we mentioned, you can use any of these boxes, even like flat rates and stuff. That's yep. that's another step that you can't really do that on eBay um, unless you pay for the flat rate. But <laughs> Poshmark makes it super easy. So if you're just getting started in reselling and your shipping is like your biggest hurdle, start with Poshmark because it's yeah, definitely the easiest easy. <laughs> to get used to. Yep. Then you could branch out as you learn. Yeah, so that'll just fit in a medium flat rate. Um, this is a viewer sale. So I'm wearing here. Nope. I just kind of put all these little makeup things in here. So Laura Mercier. Don't know. Some sort of face powder. Sold to Cassandra. So thank you so much, Cassandra. Mm -hmm. On Mercari, she offered me $10. Um, plus she paid shipping. I have $1.25 into it. So I was happy to accept. Awesome. Thank you so much for that support, Cassandra. Thank you, Cassandra. So yeah, let me. So I did a four ounce label on that. I think it was only like, yeah, it's only one seven. Do we have a box maybe? You think we could fit yeah, it in a box? Yeah, I, I should have probably done an eight ounce label. So Mercari. Obviously, you should never like do shipping that you didn't pay for. Right. So this is a four ounce label, which is fine because it is under four ounces. But in my head, I didn't factor in the box weight. Oh, okay. So we're going to bubble wrap it really good and send it to you. If there's any issues, let me know. Cassandra will just refund you. But yeah. Okay. In general, on eBay, I would have like added in the box weight and then, well, on eBay, I just charge a straight three ninety nine, which covers like an eight ounce label. Okay. So yeah. this is only 1.7 ounces. So, I mean, I don't think it's just like face powder. It's not like some liquid or something that's going to get leaking out or anything. Right, right, right. So, all right. 
another sale where I just kind of took the low offer because so uh, this was a retail arbitrage find for $350. The brand is Outdoor Research, which is a great brand to look out for. I mean, not necessarily hats. I would look out for their clothes more. Mm -hmm. But I bought a bunch this day, and I was like, okay, another. just add another thing, and I'm already here. But it like the stitching right here was kind of like came came out already. Like, can you see that? I can see it. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Yeah, so like right here, it's stitched, yeah. but then it's like missing Missing stitches, thread, so. yeah. Anyways, I'd already taken the tag off. I think I was past the return policy date or whatever. Because this is a retail arbitrage. Yeah. yeah. So I just listed it and someone offered me nine bucks. So I paid three fifty. He offered me nine. I'm making six oh five, so like two fifty profit. Yeah. Again, it's posh. I'm gonna put it in a free box. I'll use a very small amount of materials. So not and losing again, money, but not yeah. Right. Getting it gone. <laughs> So. Yeah, and that's something, you know, like the thread missing is something Kathy disclosed, and that's why she had a price lower. So it's yeah. like we're just trying to get our money back out at that point, you know? Yeah, and I had already photographed, like, well, I was already in the process of photographing it, so I was like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I didn't want to just donate it or whatever at right. that point, so. All right, and my little pan. This is like a day that we're getting rid of good stuff. Well, not good stuff, but stuff yeah. that we've been wanting to get rid of for a while. And this actually sold really fast, but it took us forever to list it because, like, this is why I don't want to really sell pots and pans. We've had this in our house for months now. It's been sitting literally it's on our been counter. It's washed, like, three or four times, <laughs> yeah. and it just... Every time we'd wash it, it just still felt like it wasn't all the way clean. So, like, just kept trying to get... You know how pots get just icky. It, like water spot dry yeah, yeah like water just spots and just like some grease spots but finally it felt like clean enough to list so <laughs> i just don't like listing stuff that's icky like right <laughs> so anyways i bought this at goodwill for 4.99 and it sold really fast like i would say in under two days for 44 46 plus ship mm -hmm. the other day someone messaged asking if i do 35 like right after i listed it 35 plus the ship and um, I had already underpriced the ship on, on accident because I didn't weigh it before I listed it. So normally I always weigh everything as I'm typing it in, but since I've had this for so long, I yeah. just never did. So anyways, I charged twelve ninety nine for shipping, but this is like almost a four pound pot without even putting in a box. So it ended up being a five pound label and the person who originally wanted it, which I normally would have accepted a $35 offer, I saw she lived on the other side of the country and I was like, oh, it's right. gonna be more than the twelve ninety nine. Yeah. So even though I'd still be making profit, I was like, well, if you already want it the first day it's listed, it's probably a good item. Yeah. I'll hold off a little longer. And I did, the next day it sold full price. So, well, full price minus our little bit of a sale running. So five into 44 and this person only lived in Texas, so. It was still about 12 something to ship, so yeah. about what I charged. So. Again, not one, not something that's like optimal, right? Like we, we, what, washed it three times. Yeah. <laughs> it's something, like sell stuff that you yeah. enjoy selling. <laughs> Otherwise it sits around for a while. Yeah, I mean, so that, did I say the brand was Emerald? So like the Emerald. Legacy. Yeah. Uh, Bam. Yeah. So I definitely probably would pick that up again, but if it was clean and like I didn't have to yeah. clean it, other than maybe running it through the dishwasher one time. Right. Like I don't want to hand scrub it or anything like that. Yeah, so. that's another thing that probably would have motivated us to get it cleaner if we knew that it would get, yeah. you know, 40 bucks and stuff, so. And now I do, so. Yeah, now you're like, eh, I might pick it up again yeah. if we I see mean, it again. I mean, there are some pots and pans I would look. I don't usually go to that section at all, but if I just happen to see one at a garage sale or something, yeah. I know, okay, it's probably worth it. And I think one of our goals... Um, I don't know if I want to call this like a New Year's resolution or anything, but one of our new goals is to try to be more attentive to the to the stuff that we sort like death pile stuff, right? Yeah. Like be, be more on top of it and don't let it become something that sits in the death pile forever. Yeah. So which actually at the end of this video we're gonna yeah pull out what's left in that closet and sort it out. Um, right now I'm listing 20 items a day. My my normal goal is 15 a day, so this week I'm doing a little extra just trying to push through what we have left here so I can get back to normal, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, so we're gonna sort all those and maybe show you like, I don't, I honestly forgot all what's in there, so. Yeah. 
you know, some, if it was low priced, we'll show you, oh, I'm just gonna take this to once upon a child. I'm just gonna redonate mm -hmm. this. I'm gonna list this or whatnot. That's a big problem with death pile items. Yeah. Your sorting habits, your whole business, yeah. you know, plans and goals change yeah. over time. Once so you put it in there, you don't. Right. You, like, I know there's, there's Patagonia jackets in there. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm like, not even excited to list them, even though it's one of my favorite brands to right. sell, so. So it's, it's, it's more yeah. and more important for us, for us it's specifically, <laughs> to list as soon as possible. Yeah. So that it's just. And most stuff sells really fast. Yeah. So. All right. Um, this is a bundle sale on Posh. They did not say they're a viewer, but I almost feel like you are just because, like, I, this little North Face jacket when we showed in a haul, a lot of people had interest in it. So mm -hmm. if you are a viewer, Kathy, thank you. I'm not <laughs> sure if you are. Um, but yeah, she bundled this North Face jacket and then these Clark's boots. And offered me eighty dollars. So I was very wow. happy to accept. Yeah. I did pay fourteen ninety nine for this North Face, which is kind of a lot for you know a thrifted item to resell for a profit. But I knew I could at least double that fifteen. These consistently sell in the forty to fifty dollar range plus shipping for me. Yeah. And then Clark's, I don't pick up all, but these were a really nice pair of boots. So. Thank you so much, Kathy, if yeah. you're a viewer. Kathy, thank you so much for that support if you happen to be a viewer. But I can tell you guys right now, that that fleece is like the softest so fleece soft. I've ever touched. <laughs> I folded it up to put in the bag and I was like, oh my gosh. Yep, it's called the North Face Osito, I believe. Osito? So, yeah, if you want one, go search. I, <laughs> yeah. When I was like um, doing comps and stuff, there was, there's lots listed in all sizes. So. Mm -hmm. You need one. <laughs> Anyways, those will ship out and I, because of Posh, just a large mailing box. Right, box J, another Poshmark sale. I'm loving Poshmark recently. Poshmark and eBay have been like neck and neck. I haven't yeah. looked today, but pretty much the amount of sales I've made on each this month. eBay used to be the biggest, and now they're pretty similar, so. Yeah. This is the brand Drew, which is also the brand, I think the other day, where the shoe was crumbling, right? Yep, yep. yep. But these don't have that. Exactly. No, we checked after, yeah. <laughs> I did, because. I this sole doesn't sure feel like that other pair did, but these are women's, like Mary Jane. Those were like a men's walking shoe. I don't know if they're made out of different stuff, but these ones I picked up for just $3 and they sold for $45. Um, I listed them at $59, got an offer of $45, was happy to accept. Sweet. All right, BM. Wait, how are you going to bag oh, that? Oh, yeah, so that was Poshmark. I think we're just going to do a shoe box on those. Oh, is that the shoe boxes? Yeah. All right, BM. Right, these are Adidas Sambas. I honestly only bought these to do that uh, thing where I burn off the extra oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, I do like Adidas Sambas. I like buying them more in like little toddler sizes. They sell pretty well on Kitizen and stuff for me, but um, yeah, I bought them. They were nine oh nine. I knew I could at least probably double my money even at that, and I really wanted to try the the lighter tricks. So, so like the fuzzy suede. Yeah, these use. have fuzz on them. They were pretty. I mean, we showed it in one of the videos. It did burn it off pretty well. I could have done it more if I wanted to, but I just listed as is after that. But it was yeah. pretty cool. I would definitely use that again on other shoes if I needed to. Mm -hmm. Although in general, I try not to source stuff with That's those exactly issues, right, yeah. but. Especially for 909. If I found them at a garage sale for a buck, definitely would pick those up. But 909, and then to still have to do that on a do all that work, I yeah, not do that again. But they sold for twenty five dollars plus ship. Like the first day I listed them, that was an offer I sent out. I listed them at thirty. The comps were actually pretty low, so I was happy to get twenty five plus ship out of those. Cool. Yeah. Going in a padded flat rate. Padded flat rate. So that, so a powder flat rate is pretty much your best bet if something's over a pound, unless the buyer lives in your same state. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this recently went up from 776, at least if you have an eBay like discount. Right. Um, to 820. It was 849 during the holiday pricing. So went down for like two weeks, went back up to 820. So happens every year yeah it's funny because people like to act like Poshmark shipping is so expensive but it's so cheap like it's yeah. not even eight dollars it's probably gonna go up soon but yeah it's still under eight bucks and you can sell five pounds five pounds on eBay like this pot was 12 something like I said but if I sent that to New York like Poshmark you could send it anywhere in the US mm -hmm. even Guam and Puerto Rico and I don't know about Puerto Rico I don't 
any I of the protectorates? Think, I don't know if... I've sold to Guam through Poshmark, but I don't think I've sold to Puerto Rico, so I'm not sure about that. Right. But, yeah, five pounds covers anywhere. Alaska, but Hawaii. But eBay, you're yeah. paying distance, so... Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Another plus for Poshmark. <laughs> um, it's just so easy. And the label prints, because that... that we had the one go to Guam, and it was yeah. typically Guam has like a customs form, doesn't it? And yeah, I would think then Poshmark filled it out. Or yeah, something. so we didn't have to worry about it. Like when you do eBay, you have to print out this customs yeah. declaration and all this kind of stuff for even like APO and FPO addresses. Um, and yeah, with Poshmark, I noticed we didn't have to do that. So it seems like their process is a little more streamlined when it comes to. That's not really inter is it international? I don't know. Is that considered yeah, international? APO, so. FPO, Guam. I know Guam is a U.S. territory and all that. Yeah. So, um, but it's weird that you even have to declare customs still. Yeah. So, <laughs> I don't know. I don't get it. <laughs> we still we just sell stuff online. We're not that smart. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> um, so I sold this Michael Kors beanie. This came in my latest FabFit Fun box, which actually I meant to cancel the FabFit Fun. Normally they send me all these push notifications like. Get your box ready get your box ready like every day <laughs> and they never sent me one or i missed it or something so i got the box i would have canceled the box had i remembered but yeah. i didn't so this is the first thing to sell i just started listing this stuff so 1262 plus shipping on the michael kors beanie and because that's a fat bit fun box thing so many people have them listed i listed mine on the lower end because mm -hmm. i wanted a quick sale because it's so oversaturated but i'm still making like 10 11 bucks profit well you know what i mean right. back versus right. waiting around forever for to get 15 or something waiting till everyone else just sells out to get the highest dollar all right this is a little genie and jack linen overall um i like picking up baby stuff in the better brands for cheap so this is only 99 cents sold on ebay for 13 dollars plus shipping sweet I'm gonna ship that out in a Valentine's mail because it's my first upper. Oh no, I can ship this in a hat. Oh yeah, I forgot to say the hat. Yeah, Valentine's mail. That's a cool mailer, guys. Yeah, I like it. That is by Look shipping Look at those hit. smileys. Yeah, so while Shipping Hip made the mailer, this is the person that did the artwork. Kayla yeah, that's the cool thing about Shipping Hip. They they collaborate yeah. with artists on, I don't know if it's only so, like, Instagram. This is, their, this is from like their fall release. Hey, so hippie. these are the... So all the artwork is done by different random people that they find on Instagram. So yeah. I always think that's cool. And it's cool if you follow them on Insta if you follow Shipping Hip on Instagram, you can basically have a say in like their next pattern. They'll do like little yeah, story polls, polls and stuff. So if that's something that interests you, it's not for everybody, but you know, I think it's fun. Yeah, so I like it. Alright, this was a quick sale. These are some Scott bike shoes. Ever since I sold that first pair of bike shoes, oh, they got shoes, the little like, cleat mechanism obsessed thing. Obsessed with selling bike shoes, so uh, this pair I picked up for seven ninety nine, and it sold on Mercari for sixty seven plus shipping. So very happy. Awesome, awesome sale. So that is going to go UPS because Mercari. Come check out our clean closet. Yeah, we spent <laughs> a little time this morning getting our closet. If I think we showed it in our last video, how bad it was. How bad it was, but now it's not. I mean, it's we're able still to walk in here. Squishy, like obviously we wanna. <laughs> we broke it down as much as we can right now. But hey, we could both stand in here. And then, so. so today, so these are the things that are listed. These are the things that are not, and this is what we're gonna pull yeah. all out today and figure out. It's honestly not that much. Like it's probably fifty items or so. If yeah. That. We'll probably be taking so. some off to what? Uh, Once upon a child. Some yeah. to what's Plato, that other place? Plato's. Plato's. Yeah. Maybe. Well, Close Mentor's not around anymore, but maybe even some to Goodwill and. Yep. Again, it's been in there so long. We. Uh, I thought you were coming out. <laughs> it's all been in there so long <laughs> that we. Uh, for those shoes. At this point, we don't really know what's in there, so yeah. we need to reevaluate. <laughs> I had already made this box up the other day and then use it, and since we broke everything else down, I just want to get this out the way. Yeah. Even though it's not eBay, it's okay. Yeah, do you guys use e? Uh, if you use, if you sell on eBay, do you use eBay tape on your other platforms? Because <laughs> we do. <laughs> we do sometimes. Yeah. We try not to for the most part, but you know, if we have to reload a tape gun or something like that, we're like, yeah, let's just use the eBay tape. Yeah. <laughs> We go the lazy route. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, these are just some regular old dance go nursing clocks. I picked these up at a Goodwill for $8.99. 
Sold them on Posh for 40. So I listed them, I think, at 59, got an offer of 40, accepted. Okay. Those I will ship out in a medium flat rate. Okay. M. Quite a few sales today, huh? Oh, again, night, evening, morning. <laughs> About half of them came in last night and half this morning so far. All right, this is a uh, Allen Edmonds linen dress shirt. So I basically only picked this up because it was 100% linen. It's basically just a plain blue shirt. Otherwise, Allen Edmonds is a great brand, but this is my first time finding their clothes. I didn't even know they made clothes. So it's old. It had a lot of interest. I think it had seven watches on eBay. So hmm. um, I had sent offers of 24 plus the 5.99 shipping. Comps were there about 25 to 30 dollars per ship. After I sent the 24 dollar offer to this last watcher, um, he messaged asking if I do 20, and I just said yes. I had 4.99 into the shirt, so it was meeting my minimum profit goals yeah, or whatnot. Yeah. And I'm glad I did accept his offer because then he wrote back, "Thank you so much. I'm trying to rebuild a." Like a professional wardrobe, I think he got a new like business he just right, right. That made me feel good. Yeah. Even though, because normally I'd be like, no, the <laughs> I wouldn't actually say it, but in my head, right, like, right. I just sent you an offer. <laughs> what am I doing? I don't know. What are you? I doing? always am like looking for. <laughs> well, we don't really have like a good size mailer for. I just ordered. No business emailers. Mailer. Give him a send me. Oh, I'm it's a little bigger, about, huh? Like, you folded it up weird. Yeah. Um. I don't want to like. I know, I don't want to crumple it either. The will lemon, I guess. <laughs> uh, these ones are a little bit bigger. I have some little, those dog ones that we got on Amazon on the way. I just really like the size of those because they'd be perfect for this. This one's a little bit too big. Yeah. We don't have any eBay ones right now because I used my coupon on the tape this time. So we'll get some of those size next time we get a coupon. All right, DJ. Is this the last sale of the day? So far, although I just, just messages. I was gonna say, I felt up my watch. Buzz, which I was hoping was a sale. Yeah, it's 11.30 right now. We've been trying to get to our shipping more in the mornings. Yeah. Um, and just I shift that. that. we have the rest of the day. Cause I, I feel like every time we do it, even though we're like, okay, yeah. we'll pick up our kids at 3.40, we're gonna start shipping at two. Then sales, like sales usually come in between like two to four, like, and it just like puts us behind because yeah. we're like, well, we're already shipping. Let's get these <laughs> ones ready instead of, no, they can wait till tomorrow because that's still one business day. But yeah, yeah. But All it right. seems like it's been working out for us. We're, I yeah. feel a little bit I more like doing less it in stressed the morning. out. You just get it out the way. Yeah. So. All right. Uh, this is also a viewer sale going out to Brittany. Uh, Patagonia kid shirt was my son's. I believe I bought it straight from Patagonia. So I probably paid around twenty. I never buy stuff full price so i probably got it on one of their sales um and Brittany bought it from us for 17.71 plus shipping so thank awesome. you so much Brittany. thank you so much for that support we yeah. do greatly appreciate it and you a valentine's mailer sweet you get a cool little valentine's <laughs> mailer so. all right we're gonna get this stuff all packed up and then we'll get check back in with you guys yeah <laughs> what are you doing over there Really? really? <laughs> He's digging his nose under his bed. <laughs> but yeah, we'll be back in a few minutes, guys. All right, guys, got that all packed up. Reese has been snoozing away. It's actually been a little while. We had lunch and we went through all of our stuff. We've. Uh, I wanted to show you guys, but it was just like so much. And yeah. I know where to start. It would have been hard to record while we were doing it. So I'll show you what we did. Let me pull. Wait, we made we did have sale. one more sale, yeah. So CZ. Listed this last night. The brand is Nui, or I don't know how you say it. It's a kids' brand, uh, Nui Organics. Um, this was my son's shirt. I don't remember what I paid for it, but I sold it for 16 plus shipping on Facebook Marketplace. So. Sweet. Awesome. I'm gonna ship that actually. Just one of these cute little mailers. Little half mailer looking thingy. Yeah. In a minute. Yeah, we'll just do that after we close out the video. So yeah, but so yeah. I organized everything in the closet. So you saw how it looked at the beginning of the video. Yeah. Um, the so biggest yeah. noticeable thing is we moved, that was our listed stuff over which here. Which is always hard to get to. Which is always hard to get to. So we moved that right here in the, you know, right as we enter the These closet. All listed and available. Listed um, and available. And, yeah, and so ready to mingle. Even though this is organized right now, it's going to get unorganized. Just That just happens. So yeah. we're going to try our best to not, but that way we don't have to reach back here ever really. So. Yeah. 
But Second. we should be all done by the next week if we just stay focused. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. we separated stuff by just like days, days worth of work. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. So you know, it's easier to just knock out shirts all together. So these are all just shirts. Um, these are all sorts of. These are pants, although we didn't have that many. To so do like, it a full day. We have a couple sheets that we're gonna do that day too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These are coats, and again, it's not that many because we want to do. Coats are big and 15 hard. Fifteen a day, but yeah, coats. I usually do extra measurements, like like armpit to wrist yeah. and stuff like that on coats. And these, a couple of these don't have size. Like I have a Christian Dior trench coat here, but it doesn't like have size. So right. Lots of measurements on that, so I just know that's gonna be a harder day. Yeah. Um, these are kids' clothes, other than this is a Mazook, exclusively Mazook mm. set. Basically, these are all two-piece things, and I hate photographing two-piece things. So. Yeah. And yeah, 90% of this is our just kids' outgrown pajamas, so that'll just be one day, knock it out. I, yeah. And then this is just random shirts and extra, because, you know, this would have been with this, but we split them up by days. So yeah. Just extra shirts. And again, we didn't, like I said, I was like gonna pull out some for Play-Dohs and stuff, but we didn't want to spend that time today looking that closely at them. Mm -hmm. So as we pull out our day's worth, whichever day it is, we'll decide on that day. Yeah, and if we don't have enough to fill out that day, we'll just use yeah. some more newly bought inventory. Yeah, like this bag I haven't got in yet, just cause I want to get this old stuff listed before I do. Yeah, we have a couple bags in our car still, yeah. so. But honestly, this is basically it. That's what, five days? Yeah. Yeah, and this bin is some stuff that is kind of out of the ordinary. This new wave oven, we've talked about it. We've talked about it. It's been sitting under this table forever. Um, I'm gonna test it out, get that ready to list this week. And we showed this during Halloween, and the only reason I didn't list it is because it had like it just. I just need to wipe it with a shower wipe, and I didn't. And now it's just like a bad time of year, so. I'll get that wiped, but probably not the best time of year to list it, but I will list it once it's ready. Yeah. And then this has just been in here with a bunch of stuff <laughs> for so long, I need to wash this before I even think about listing it, but it's just a slumberkin, so. This is what happens with death piles though, right? Like it gets out of season, it gets dirty, more crushed, wrinkled, whatever. So, you know, we just <laughs> gotta knock it out, get rid of this stuff that we're so, Dynasty. Wanting to not list, get it out of the way so that we can enjoy the stuff that we're listing. We didn't really do much. I mean, I've listed all the, you know, I listed all those shoes the other day that were on this rack. These ones we didn't really decide what we're doing with yet. These <laughs> actually I have photographed, so I don't know why I haven't listed these. Also have these photographed. Can someone tell me if you, so when I was photographing these, I couldn't get them to stand straight up because like they're very skinny heel. They're, yeah. And I don't really sell heels, so I don't know if that's normal or if they're like wonky, you know what I mean? Like yeah. they couldn't stand up straight by themselves. Does that I mean imagine, that they're warped, right? Right, I imagine if you like, um, we're wearing them, it might not be. I don't know. Is, it, is that normal? Yeah, you can like, see that it's... They, I feel like even, Like the footbed does not sit down flat on the floor. So we, we just don't know. We're not heels experts. So they're photographed and in my drafts, but I just don't... Yeah, I'm just like worried that they're not good. Right. Not that they're not real. I, I know that they're like real. They're just... And I mean, we had the idea to like... Like they don't look like that bad. Right. So we had the idea to like tape them down for a photograph, I mean, yeah, but so we don't want to be like misleading. I'm like this. Oops. You know. Yeah. So anyhow. <laughs> Death pile oh, stuff. These are actually <laughs> photographed. I don't know why I haven't listed those. <laughs> this is our life. Hopefully yeah. only for the next week. And yeah, so these are just a few pairs I need to still photograph. So, you know, we're getting there. Getting there for yeah. sure. Yeah, those two pairs of tall boots are, should be easy to photograph. Yeah, we picked this pile out for uh, photographing today. and getting stuff listed today. Yeah, because sometimes Chris will help me measure, but he's, it's already getting late today. He has to get the video live. And, and it is Wednesday. I hang out with yeah, some friends so Wednesday nights. So I don't really measure kids' clothes, so I figured I'll just do those. Those will be the easiest thing for me to do today. Because no measurements. We don't, yeah, right. that's... These two are adult clothes. I actually already have these in my drafts, um, so I'm just going to put them live today. This one I didn't list for so long because I was just like paranoid that there's like those water Little, spots kind of on. Yeah. Like you don't really see it when you look straight on, but if you really look, you can see them. These I only haven't listed because I really don't know if they're men's or women's. <laughs> I've done Google Lens. I've typed in the Nike serial number thingy, and there's just like nothing that's really leading me to... 
I found one pair listed on eBay that says women, so I'm probably just going to list them as women's and hope for the best yeah. and large. Hopefully, I mean, we're going to have measurements in there, so. Right. It's, it's like the as long I as. Con- <sighs> like, I feel like they're ones because I think I tried them on and they were a little bit too tight on me. But they were just, the inseam is just really long for what I would think would be a women's pant. Yeah. Like, obviously, I'm not, like, a very tall person, but they were, like, very, very long on me. Like, I would think I'd have to be, like, six foot for them to fit, like, normally, which, I don't know. Hey, maybe a volleyball player or something, you know? I mean, they are sport pants, so that's that. Um, This is our donate pile. Yeah, so the Rosetta Stone we got at that garage sale where we paid, like, 24 cents per item. Yeah. And... So it's it's causing us stress because it's still <laughs> sitting here and we haven't listed it. You can't really sell these on eBay, I don't think. Well, they they have they're key bound. There's a product right. key, and we just don't want to do the research enough. I just to... also think these are a Vero specifically on eBay. I think you yeah. can probably sell them on Mercari. I just don't want to. Yeah. I think you could sell the headphones maybe separately, but right. Um, maybe we can do that. I don't know. I, I we looked into it at, at one point. It's, it's just, just been like, so long. Four cents. Just get rid of it. <laughs> yeah. It's not. I mean, what could the headphone possibly would work yeah. like 10 bucks. And I feel like nowadays there's way better options for like learning a new language. I feel like Rosetta Stone is kind of, at least this version of Rosetta, I'm sure there's different versions now, but you know, there's different options where you could just get an app for five bucks on your phone. So yeah. um, I'm going to put that in the Goodwill. I don't want to just throw it away because the material still in there. The headphones are in there. Maybe someone at Goodwill wants yeah. to do it themselves and then can get and it. What is it? Price. It's Mandarin, yeah. right? Yeah. So it'd be cool to learn Mandarin, but yeah, not worth us selling at this <laughs> point. So these are just some Adriano Goldschmidt women's jeans. I'm only donating, redonating because I didn't realize they were like hemmed in here. Mm-hmm. Like, so oh, they're like taken in, yeah. Yeah. So even if I put measurements, it's just like a return waiting to happen. I only have two dollars into them. It's not worth a return. Yeah. So I'm just gonna. Donate Which is those. weird. Didn't like the last pair of AGs we had. Those weren't were they? Like, they were. Those are just hemmed, really tailored. Like, yeah. Tiny, like and seem like a men's they like hemmed them to like a men's 20 they were inch. super short yeah. yeah so like danny devito pants right. which <laughs> not a very common body size yeah. so it just they were like a 44 by like 27 yeah so i'm not saying danny devito's 44 no, right? I'm I'm just, just, it, it was, was a like very a, wide and short pant right. yeah and yeah i don't like listing men's pants that don't match the inseam either yeah yeah and then this camelback came from the bins. It doesn't have the bladder, although I wouldn't really sell a used bladder. Anyways, I was going to try to sell this just by itself because people do have their own bladders. Yeah. But it has, like, these marks. I just, I'd have to wipe it down. It's probably only worth a couple bucks. Yeah, I feel like there was some gross stuff in the pocket, right, too, maybe. so I'm just going to probably redonate that. Redonate or toss, even. Yeah. This, um, maybe you guys can help us out on this. Open that up. Cause... I just thought it was cool. You can yeah, see it's it. A, it was two bucks for the... It's, it's a, a vintage cap gun. And but pass. it's so vintage, it doesn't have a safety tip. Right, the orange. So I don't know if it's even legal for us to sell. Yeah, I, I'm fairly I, certain we cannot sell it on eBay. I don't ever look down the barrel of it. <laughs> um, but <laughs> anyways, yeah. You could probably sell it on, I don't know. I don't know. Let us know if you Yeah, sell I, I don't know where we could sell it. And if, so. is it even worth selling? Maybe I'll just... I mean, it's neat. Like, let it's the boys like play with it or something. But it even has some caps. I don't know. Those don't look super old, but. <laughs> they look pretty old to me. Um, At least as old as us. We're pretty old. <laughs> yeah, we are pretty old. <laughs> Thirty somethings. They're made in China, in 1996. 96. Okay, old. that's pretty old. So yeah, definitely vintage, but yeah. yeah. So again, either just something to play with or a two dollar loss. It's. Not anything we need to keep sitting here another right. day. So another thing we could even probably do is maybe even just sell the holster. You know, I don't know. Well, the holsters. Oh, it, like is it a has little, a tear in it. It so. is a little torn, but yeah. Might be able to sell the caps. I don't know. Those those are kind of explosive. I <laughs> so <laughs> I don't I don't know the rules. Right. It's like at this point, is it really it's, worth it? You no, know, no. that's why it's been in the death pile for a year. So, yeah, so, this is what I'm listing today. Most, I was trying to not like count my own kids' stuff as our listings. I was going to do those above and beyond any listings that we yeah. were planning to do, but I only had, because I wanted to just do kids' stuff today, and I only had 17, I think, that weren't our kids' stuff. Yeah. So, I threw three of their shirts in just to make it 20. Um, but yeah, I got two zippities. A lot of these are the dresses from when I got that big old yeah. JBF dress haul. And, you know, I listed most of them. Most of them have sold, but a couple of them had 
just tiny little spots, like no reason <laughs> at all other than I didn't feel like pointing out the spot that day. And now we here we are a year, probably more later. Mm -hmm. And now I have to list them. <laughs> so, we'll get them listed. That's Yep. This one did not come from JBF. I got this at a thrift, but it doesn't have a size. So I'm going to have to do measurements on that. I'm pretty sure it's a four. It, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so mostly little cute dresses are going up today. And this was this was technically something I bought for my kid, but I paid 50 cents for it. So I'll make profit on that. So I'm gonna Yeah, yeah. That'll be fine. That's just a crew cuts blazer, paper wings, and then yeah, this is a nice Columbia girls jacket. This is the Patagonia. I did actually buy this for my kid, but well, the person that sold this said it was excellent condition. I haven't done anything to it. I see some but, spots. But yeah, yeah, there's spots, there's a hole. It's just I buy from this person a lot, so I didn't want to say anything because usually almost everything's in great condition and yeah. it's such good deals that I'm just like, I don't want to ruin the whole relationship over right. something, but don't say something's excellent condition if it has stains <laughs> all over it and stuff. For but sure. the main problem with this, like, I mean, I would still have my kid wear this. I don't care about the stains because it's a jacket they're going to ruin anyways, but it it has some, like, the feathers bunched up. Oh, lumping in it, yeah. So, you know, it's actually not... Well, here, yeah, more in the back. So I don't even, I would keep it for my kids still, but I feel like it, I don't know, what, does it keep them warm if the feathers are bunched up like that? Probably not, right? The down I don't know. Like all. I don't so, know. I sold a North Face one with the down bunched up, and I said that it was bunched up and everything. It still sold for like 30 bucks. I'm going to try to just get my money back out of that. Yeah. And then, yeah, just, uh, this is kind of faded. I bought my kid a lot of these, kept two, and I'm just gonna sell this one to try to make a few bucks back. And then Lily Pulitzer and Mud Pie. So that's what I'm working on the rest <laughs> of today. So. Cool. And like Kathy said, I've got a video to edit and put out for today. <laughs> she just pointed at Reese. Look how he's sleeping. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, Kathy did s show me we have another sale coming in, so. Um, yeah, it's just a cute little Roxy bikini. We'll pull this real quick so we can go out today. Yeah, so this came the same day I got all those Prana ones. This is a, just a little toddler girl one. I have three fifty in two. Someone just offered fifteen on Posh. I accepted. I make twelve, so not quite a ten dollar profit, but pretty decent for just a little baby bikini. Yeah, and a nice little addition to our days of sales. We had a pretty good day of sales today. And I like and selling kids stuff on Posh because I get to use these cute little boxes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. so we'll go ahead and pack that one up off camera along with that <laughs> so other. Funny. He just cracks me up. <laughs> <laughs> he actually lays like that quite a bit. It's <laughs> it's funny. Reese is a hilarious dog. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's what we have going on. We're really trying and grinding on this death pile. Um, and as you've seen, it's it's really just a week's worth of work, right? Like we can get through it and then it'll be really nice to just have it out of the way. It's really been like a, just a pain in the butt, thorn in our side for a while. And it's gonna be nice having it out of the way so that we can really focus on the stuff that we enjoy selling. And you know, it's a new year, so we're gonna do things a little bit differently so that we don't build up another death pile like this. Oh, we got startled. <laughs> so anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for sticking through to the end. Uh, I know this is a little bit longer than usual. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for all the viewer support. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.